Oh, girl. And then he fucked you? The dick will do it. The dick will do it. Creeps, and welcome back to my channel. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are P.O.P. And that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? We're back with another video. And y'all know I'm starting to love these movie reactions with you guys. Uh, get your stuff like I always say, your popcorn. I got my wine. If you want a blunt, snacks, whatever, go get it. But before we start, new subscribers, can you please hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Hit my bell so you can get my post notifications whenever I make a video. Make sure you like this video. Also, comment in the um, comment section your zodiac sign. Let's see if we can find our twin. I'm a Gemini. So, hey, let me know. What are you? Um, and when's your birthday? Mine's May 31st. All right. Now that y'all know that, let's get into this movie. It was sent in by my friend. I hope it's good. I'm excited because I love what y'all picked for me. And, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Alright. Well, they getting straight to it. She in the bathroom. Come on, music. <laughs> oh! Why the fuck is my breakfast not ready? Wait a minute! Nigga, first of all, you got two hands and arms. Make your own breakfast. I don't know, I did so. And she pregnant? Yes, Come on. Oh, uh-uh. Oh, Come on. Oh, you better stuff stuck that butter down his throat. I didn't mean to hit you, okay? Okay. You know I love you. Oh, my. You love me too, right? No. Oh, be I love you. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> oh, I'm mad. You know how I get sometimes. Okay, control it. All right. Oh, girl, uh-uh. Cook that butter and throw it on his face. Cook the butter and throw it on his face. Make sure you hurry up with that breakfast. Oh, no, he did. I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> Nigga, you better Uber eat. Oh, girl. And then he fucked you? The dick will do it. The dick will do it. A gun. Shoot him. In his sleep. I don't care. I'm sorry. God forgive me. In his sleep. Girl, what you writing a goodbye note? <laughs> Fuck that. Use that pen and stab him. Oh, she's still there cooking. <laughs> so what you got going on today? <laughs> Obviously cooking your food, bitch. Um, just making a few runs and to my doctor's appointment. Whoa, 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 whoa. A few runs? That's what you said? What kind of runs? Just to the store here and there. No big deal. You know, we got kind of a tight budget right now seeing as how I'm the only one working. Okay. And? You should let me get a job. Right. Let you. I hate when me do that. We had this conversation already. Don't want you to work and they complain. How about you just let me take care of you and leave it at that, right? Well, stop complaining and leave that that, right? Okay, y'all, I'm sorry. Besides, that's what you want. I, I wanted a husband. Oh. <laughs> oh. What you wanted to do was get away from your parents. Well. Can I at least go back to school? You know I've always wanted to study This art. here is your school. Mm. Learn that. Mm. Oh, hell no. That cup will be on his face. I gotta get out of here. I'm late for work. That's your best bet. <gasps> Look at her eye. Keep our family business our business, all right? Oh no, ma'am. Let me 
make sure you put some makeup on them cheeks. They look kind of dark. Do that for me, all right? Oh, fuck no. Oh, fuck no. Nigga, if you want fucking hit, you know what? I got to cut this shit out. I'm done. A popcorn. Oh, fuck no. Oh, she been like the white man. She been talking to a white man. Hi, I'm Jake. Welcome to the studio. Hi. First time in? Mm, mm, you can say that. Can I give you a tour? No. <laughs> right. Thanks. Our man pop up his level with. Well, the paintings are for sale. Let me know if you see anything you like. Okay, bye. -bye. What made you come in today? You talking too much. I was just walking by and saw the painting outside. Did you like it? Andy Warhol, Roses, 1970. Wow. Well, uh, yeah, that was my inspiration. <laughs> I figured. Well, feel free to walk around. Girl, she been doing that. Bye, go on now. Talk too much. <laughs> Bye. Girl. He too talkative, you don't want him. He all in your business already. Nosy. I put a lot of blood on this one. <laughs> well, he better come again and talk to him. I hope a man don't show up. He ain't got ass right about it now. Oh, uh, 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 look, look, he want look, he peeking, she peeking, oh, Lord, they want each other. Look, 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 he gonna come, he gonna leave the lady back there, look, why, 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 look, 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 peeking, peeking. If you look one more time, he like, mm. hey, uh, 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 wanna, ah, go get her, Jacob. Oh, girl, she thinks she slid, oh, she finna get fucked up. He finna come to the house, oh, shit. He coming to the house, boyfriend gonna pull up, it's over with. I'm on my wine too, bitch. You better bust that ball across his head, I know that. Oh, it's on and popping. You scared me. Why aren't you at work? Ooh. Where's your ring? I think I left it in the bathroom this morning. You expect me to believe that? Winston, why would I lie to you? What have you been doing? The things you asked me to do. Did you open it? No, no. It looked personal. 
It is. I do a little writing too. Nothing serious though. This is different. What do you mean? Nothing, never mind. So what can I do you for today? Um, sorry, uh, I just came back to get this. Um, thanks for keeping it. Yeah, I think she done. left it on purpose. Yes. He couldn't see that eyebrow? Oh, baby, that is visible. Mm. Yeah, they see it. They know. Are you okay? Right. Right, they know. That shit ain't funny, bitch. I'll spit in your fucking face. Again? I don't see bleeding. The baby. The baby. She had a miscarriage. Winston. Winston. What? I think it was the baby. He don't care. He probably gonna get mad at her. Say it's her fault. <laughs> he don't care. Sorry. Fuck you! Oh my drink! Oh shit! Oh my god, my drink! Oh, that don't piss me off! My you must really like my stuff. Don't let it go to your head. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. I ain't got no Care for some coffee? No, thanks. Girl, get Water. away. Water's fine. Oh, my dream. You know, I might be wrong, but I can tell you have a passion for art. Uh, what are you doing about it? <laughs> Nothing, really. You don't want to be old and wishing for time to go back. <laughs> right. Did you hit your head? You ask a lot of questions. <laughs> I'm just trying to get to know you. Right. Why? Because you seem like a nice person. Don't say that. Sorry, I just did. You know, it's easy to say things about a person that you don't know. Right. Just like it's easy to judge a good person when you don't know their true intentions. Right, because I was showing up calling you annoying. So are you saying that you're a good guy? <laughs> I'm saying life's a risk. You gotta take them. And you're cool. Even when you dress funny. <laughs> Do you think I dress funny? I'm just saying I've seen you inside with sunglasses on. Wait, wait a minute, racist. <laughs> it's the look. She had a hibachi on. What's it called? And a hibachi. shawl. Oh. Nigga, you racist. <laughs> that too. Dip gear. Okay. Cultural. He don't know it. I hit my head on the elevator door. Yeah, I saw this. Call her out. I'm fine. Yeah. I was hoping you wouldn't say that. Right. Because he knows. You say that I hit my head? That you're fine. Right. Because you're not. And he knows. But I am. No. You're beautiful. Oh! Shit! And I'm sure that elevator... Don't know. Doesn't anywhere. Hey! No! Oh! No more questions. Right, girl, because you're going to fall and get trapped. Yes, Queen Maya. Oh! Did he did call the queen! Queen Maya. Don't you love it? Whew. Look, it's almost lunchtime. I don't know. Are you hitting on me? Girl, yeah, let him. Shit, fuck you talking about. I don't hit on a woman. Ooh! Okay, hold on. Girl, add him into your book. <laughs> right. Chapter new. <laughs> Found me a man. And I'm thinking about dipping out. <laughs> Fuck is that? And see how God work? 
No offense, gave her that abortion. I mean, gave her that miscarriage. So she can get a new man, and I had no ties to that piece of shit, nigga. At home. Oh! Won't he get you out of it? <laughs> Won't he do it? Left it on purpose. Yes, yeah, if he don't read it this time, he's stupid. Now you should know. Pick the signs. Come on, Jacob. Come on, Jacob. Come on, Jacob. Don't go to that house though. You get your ass whooped. <laughs> Just read it. Damn, not this leaking. Shit. Hold on, y'all. I ain't going nowhere. I'm right here. I'm still here. I'm still here. Come on now. Chill out. Jesus. Tisha. You can answer it. She could get Hello? Maya? Yes. What is going on? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Father and I haven't heard from him in a long time. And I just didn't want to be bothered. Ooh, don't do the parents like that over no man. Where's Winston? Winston's fine. He has a job now. What are you talking about? Did you like the gift? What, what gift? Is? <gasps> we sent you a package for your birthday. And he didn't give it to her. I gotta go. Maya? I have to go. He didn't give it to her. Oh, you piece of shit. Girl, it's time to go. What they give you? What are you cooking? <laughs> Nothing for you. Liver and onions. Liver? Oh, he's gonna get mad. Is that right? He mad over liver. He mad over liver. Oh, please do not kill this girl. Girl, it's time to go. Throw that shit on him. Come on. Oh, it's the never listen. Something that not listen to ass right here. He gonna kill her. He gonna kill her on mistake. And it's gonna be too late. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting ready to close. We're not here to look around. What are you here for? Detective Harlow Simmons. This is my partner, Detective Kim Jong. You know a girl by the name of Maya? Doesn't ring a bell. We have reasons to believe that she's been here a few times in the past two weeks. Do you have any recollection? Oh, I mean, a lot of people walk in and out of the studio on a daily basis. Why, what's the matter? She was murdered by her boyfriend a few days ago, and we can't find him. We we're hoping that you could uh, provide us with some information. The book. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know. Well, the book. Give us a call right away. Yeah, I will. She was trying to reach out to you. She left it on purpose. Watch it say, "Help me." Watch it say help me. I hide myself from the reality of who I am. Living in the pattern of a broken heart. I reached out with nothing to grasp. My voice is muffled, so I write this to you. With my arms stretched, I yell for help. Come all the way. Almost is not enough. Oh my God. I love it. Hey, 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 I love it. Um, B plus. <laughs> Wait a minute, y'all. So I love it. Um, I kind of, okay. I did like the stereotype thing where like the black man was abusive one and the white man was supposed to be the one to make her feel good. It could have been another black man, but you know, Neither here nor there. Fuck who it is. Love is love. Um, but that is crazy. Cause so many women who are being abused be afraid to ask for help. Cause it's like a, it's like a, ah, oh, what's what's the word? Like an insecure type of thing. Like 
You don't want nobody to judge you for getting beat. You know what I'm saying? So you're afraid to reach out. And then you think if you do reach out, the person might come to your house or call the police and it's just going to cause more shit if the police don't do nothing. So then you're scared. But you you want somebody to know something. But since that man didn't look, like it was the signs were there. She left it the first time. Great mistake. But when she left it that second time, I would have been like, okay, she doing this on purpose. And now I know that man feel bad. He didn't look at the book. Oh, women and men. If you are getting abused, step out on faith and ask somebody to help you. Don't be afraid. And if you are afraid, don't go home. Get in a hotel. And if you are getting abused, record it. Take a pic, hide a camera somewhere or take pictures of yourself. Document it and, and take, give it to the police and go home, go to a hotel and turn that person in, friend. Don't be afraid. If somebody is hitting you, they don't love you. I don't care how much they tell you they love you. They don't love you. Somebody who loves you will not. And I repeat, will not abuse you. It's different from when your parents give you a little slight spanking or whooping and tell you, I'm doing it because I love you. They are trying to keep you out of making mistakes in life. You know, some people don't believe in spankings. It's a difference between spanking, a whooping, and beating. You know, it's a difference. A spanking is like, you stole out my purse, I'm going to spank you. Because if I just tell you something, you might not get it. But if I spank you, you know there's going to be consequences. Just like if you steal out of a store, they ain't going to sit you down and talk to you. You're going to jail. They're not going to say, oh, it's okay. Go in the corner. It's going to be all right. No. You need consequences. Taking a phone and sitting in the corner is not going to work. No allowance is not going to work. That's why you do spanking stuff. Now, I ain't saying do that. If you don't agree with it, don't do it. But don't be upset when your child don't learn, okay? But um, somebody who loves you is not going to want to see you hurt. They're not going to want to see you abused. They're not going to want to see you crying. They're not. That is not love. I don't give a damn how much they dress it up. It's not love. Love makes you happy. Love makes you confident. Love is unconditional. Like, it's just, when you're on love, it's like a high that you can't come down. Like, nobody else matters. And if you're thinking, I wish this would stop. I wish they would just change. They don't love you, friend. No. Get out of it. Now. You are worth it. You are worth more. You are somebody. And you deserve respect. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you deserve respect. You deserve to be treated like you are a human being, not a punching bag, not a fucking piece of shit on the ground that is worthless. You are somebody and you have feelings and those feelings can get hurt. And just like her, she didn't get out of there and I don't want it to be too late for you Go, 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 go. Oh, I love the movie. All right, y'all, I'm done. I'm sorry. Follow my Instagram, follow my Twitter friend. Thank you for sending me that, okay? Because I know a couple of people who are dealing with that, and I just want them to get out. And I, I can't do it for you. You can only do it for yourself, okay? When you've had enough, you know it's enough. And hopefully it's not too late before you understand it's enough. All right, I love you. God only made one you. If you don't be you, then nobody else will.